Hi YouTube and welcome to Kosashu's Tech. It's finally here. The factory overclocked big ferocious BFGPU has arrived. Today I have the pleasure of unboxing and presenting an overview of the MSI RTX 3090 Supreme X. This is the top GPU. La creme de la creme. The best and meanest air-cooled GPU currently on offer from MSI. And I can't wait to check it out. So here we go, let's unbox this bad boy. Unfortunately, my box arrived with a slight dent on this side. I'm pretty sure that this did not affect the graphics card in any way, but I did call the seller and ask them to lock that the box was delivered slightly damaged. It comes in a fairly large box measuring 42.5 cm in width, 28 cm in height and it's about 10 cm deep. It weighs almost 3.2 kg. On the front of the box, we have a large picture of the graphics card, the Supreme X and MSI logos, the 3090 NVIDIA RTX branding and the fact that it is built on the Ampere architecture that it supports ray tracing and DLSS. Another large nice Supreme X logo is on this side of the lid. And the lid pivots open like so. Wow! We have the Supreme logo again on the underside of the lid. I have to say that so far it looks amazing. The white box with all the black on the inside give it a very premium look. First up is this black envelope and inside we have, well, a bunch of flyers and guides. We have a quick user's guide, a nice comic book like guide featuring the MSI Dragon on how to upgrade your PC with a new graphics card. An installation guide for the graphics card holder, an advertisement flyer showing motherboards, peripherals and other products from MSI, and they thank you for choosing a MSI product card. I like that, that's a nice touch. You can never have too many thank yous. And then... Wow, now this is the first. What's this? This is a supreme mousepad. I've never received a mousepad with a video card before. Let's have a look at it. Hmm, this looks decent quality. I mean, it has no stitching on the edges, but still, for something I did not expect to get, it looks rather good. I will take it for a try in a minute. Now we're getting to the good part. Here she is. This is where you are hiding. But no, before we have a look at the GPU, let's take a look at this accessory. This is the GPU support bracket. You assemble it like this and you place it on the bottom of your case or any other sturdy horizontal flat surface and then adjust this top piece to support your graphics card and prevent it from sagging. It's nice to see that the industry is starting to provide this as standard. Sagging has been an issue for several years now and is mainly caused by how heavy GPUs are and is sometimes exacerbated by the power supply cables pulling down on it. I won't be using this as I intend to mount it vertically in my case so sagging won't be an issue. And now, for the main attraction... Oh boy, she is a big gun! Heavy too! The Supreme X weighs just 5 grams shy of 1.9 kilograms. Oh, I'm so excited! Oh my days, look at her! She's a mean sexy beast! Now this is a proper GPU, and she's a looker! She looks amazing! MSI have definitely done a good job in terms of design. This graphics card looks insane. She has a bit of a blocky look, but I quite like that. So, at the front we have the fan shroud and is made up of this nice brushed metal middle part and what feels like high quality plastic to me on the sides. But unless you look at it up close, I don't think you will be able to tell that it's plastic. Underneath we have... Oh my days. This is one massive heatsink. We can now see why this car takes up 3 slots in your case. She is 336mm wide, 140mm high and 61mm deep. In terms of connectivity, we have an HDMI 2.1 port and 3 display ports version 1.4a. The HDMI port supports displays up to 4K at 120Hz and 8K at 60Hz with an HDMI ultra-high-speed certified cable. 
Well, the display ports support 4K at 120Hz, 5K at 60Hz and with display stream compressions 1.2 up to 8K at 60Hz. If you think that you need more HDMI ports, then know that the display ports allow you to connect to an HDMI 2.0 device. LOL, check this out. This graphics card has three 8-pin power connectors. Yep. She is a hungry beast and will require you to connect three cables to it. I am not too surprised since MSI advertises it as a 420 watts TDP video card. MSI recommends an 850 watts power supply, but I will be going for 1000 watts to be on the safe side and leave some headroom for overclocking when the time comes. I am pretty confident that you need at least two dedicated rails on our power supply to run this effectively. I think you will be good with two dedicated cables coming straight from the power supply and using both connectors on one of them. We can also see here the dual BIOS switch. This allows us to change between the silent mode for low noise and gaming mode for full performance. Looking at the top edge, we can see that Supreme and GeForce RTX branding again and the RGB which runs almost from edge to edge. But that's not all the RGB, we have more on the backplate and the front of the fans. This MSI logo on the backplate lights up. And this backplate looks really good with this dual textured metal finish. And guess what, the backplate is not here just to make this card look pretty. It actually has cooling functionality and we will look at it in a bit. The cooling is provided by MSI's Trifrozer 2S system with free Torx fans 4.0 built with extremely durable double bearings. Pairs of the fan blades are linked together and MSI says they focus airflow and air pressure into the heatsink. The fans completely stop when the temperatures are low, eliminating all noise when cooling isn't needed. The heatsink is huge. It has a dedicated heat pipe that runs on a dedicated heatsink just for the memory modules. MSI says that the GPU is cooled by a solid nickel plated base plate that ensures rapid thermal transfer to an array of precision machine core heat pipes that then spread the heat along the full length of the heatsink for optimal cooling. The heatsink has air deflectors which provide additional surface area and guide air to where it's needed for maximum cooling. The thin edges are wave curved to disrupt unwanted airflow harmonics resulting in reduced noise. Underneath the heatsink, MSI has placed thermal pads to provide additional heat dissipation for the board components. Even the backplate has a rolling cooling. Beneath it, there are heat pipes which provide additional cooling for the memory modules on the rear of the PCB. MSI has built in the PCB additional fuses to provide additional safeguards against electrical damage. The PCB has a thickened copper layer inside which increases conductivity, improves heat dissipation and high performance reliability. Most people will have this GPU installed horizontally in their system. To help with rigidity, MSI has designed the Supreme X with a metal anti-bending strap that strengthens key areas of the graphics card. I think the sagging risk is pretty well minimized with this and the GPU support bracket we had a look at earlier. Like most manufacturers, MSI provides its own exclusive Dragon Center software that lets you monitor, tweak and optimize MSI products in real time. MSI are the makers of the MSI Afterburner, which is the most recognized and widely used graphics card overclocking software in the world. The RTX 3090 is a power beast for sure. It's based on the Ampere architecture, featuring enhanced RT cores, tensor cores and new streaming multiprocessors. Plus, it features a staggering 24GB of GDDR6X memory. The Supreme X boosts to 1860MHz in gaming and silent modes and up to 1875MHz using MSI's Dragon Center. This is 180MHz about 10% higher than Nvidia's Founders Edition, which only boosts to 1695 MHz. The memory is clocked the same at 19.5 GB per second and it runs on a 384-bit bus. Compared to the competition, the Supreme X falls second only to the Asus ROG Strix O24G Gaming and White Editions, which boosts to 1890 MHz, which is 15 MHz more. The EVGA FTW3 Ultra Gaming boosts 75 MHz less up to 1800 MHz. 
The Gigabyte Aorus Extreme boosts 15 MHz less up to 1860 MHz. And the Pallid Gamerock OC boosts 30 MHz less up to 1845 MHz. You can get even higher clocked versions of the RTX 3090 from most manufacturers, but they are water-cooled. They will either come with a water block and AIO pre-installed or just with a water block which you can integrate in your custom loop. Now for the conclusion. The GPU looks amazing in my view. I love the brushed steel textures and how the RGB is laid out. I think it will look splendid regardless of the mounting orientation. With the high clock speeds and the good cooling that MSI provided, it should deliver sound stable world-class performance. But... And there is a big but here. The cost. Oh boy, is she expensive. The Supreme X costs £1750 in the UK and $1800 in the US at the time of recording this video. That is expensive. Awfully expensive. Based on looks and spec sheet alone, this is an amazing graphics card that will satisfy the most performance hungry of us. If you want one of the best graphics cards on the market for gaming and productivity and you are willing to pay a small fortune, then you cannot go wrong with purchasing the MSI RTX 3090 Supreme X. And this takes us to the end of our video. If you enjoyed the unboxing and found it helpful, please consider pressing the like button and subscribing to our channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a nice day.